Hello, so just want to give you a very simple idea, a very simple guide in regards to measuring your kitchen from home and just the basic information that we need from you to enable us to draw up some initial plans and designs for your new kitchen. Um, so grab yourself a pen, piece of paper and a tape measure. Um, pen's better if possible, pencil doesn't tend to scan or photograph very accurately, so pen or something thicker is quite good for us. Um, very simply, have a look around the room, just get an idea of the physical shape of the structure of the room. Um, don't worry about things like things which could be removed, like mantles or um, boxing in and that sort of stuff. It's good to, to take photographs of that to send us, but we want to know the bricks and mortar of the physical shape of the room. So in this case, very simply, a bit of a U-shape. And we've got a window that's behind me there. So, as I say, it doesn't have to be anything special. It's just to give us a guide. So, left hand side of the window with the paint measure. So, a meter and 70, 1070. The width of the window itself, so left to right, 1400 or 140 centimeters. And then the right hand side, which in this case is 660. So, the other crucial thing to do, so we've done our three measurements left window and right hand side is the total wall dimension which is quite important. Pop that there, get somebody to give you a hand if, uh, if need be. Measure that, 3120. So the reason why we do a total wall or room dimension um, is purely because if you add those three up, generally speaking, it should add up to roughly the wall dimension. But we know that Windows aren't square, door reveals aren't square. Um, they look pretty square, but they're generally not. Just gives us a really good guide that we've got the three dimensions correct um, and, the, and the window position, um, obviously, by both the left and right hand side. Same with windows, uh, doors, archways, anything like that. But the other crucial things we need are the heights of those items. So doorway is very simple from the floor to the top of the architrave. Uh, when you're measuring the width of the door, it's left hand side of architrave to the right hand side of architrave, so the external dimensions of what those frames take up on that wall. Uh, when you're measuring windows, we also need height. So in this case, we've got 1170, so I'll put 1170 and in brackets H for height. And then from the floor, a little bit more tricky, you measure the height of the worktop, in this case it's 900. And then from the worktop up the bottom of the sill, it's, in this case it's 100. So a metre and 50 from the floor, so 1050, and then in brackets FF, which is from the floor. So that really is the information we need. So external features of doors and windows and archways um, uh, in regards heights, doors, heights of windows, heights from the floor, um, and also ceiling height is the, is the final sort of feature. So easiest way to do it, stand on your tape measure, pop it up to the ceiling, Measure it, write it down. Uh, I generally write RH in the middle, room height, and then 2400 in this case. Our ceilings are high, but in general terms, 2.4 is standard ceiling height. Um, anything around there, we're perfect. Um, it'll look like the books and the showroom does. Um, anything lower than that, anything lower than 2.2 meters, we need to know about um, because it's crucial for standard height kitchen furniture. Um, low, low height exposed beams or uh, pictures in the ceiling, ceiling wedges where your stairs go down, all that sort of stuff we could do with knowing about. And um, if it's difficult to measure, just take pictures of it um, and we can we can ask the relevant questions and ask you to, to sort of give us a little bit more detail in regards um, those features within your rooms. The only other things to really point out are things like water meters, gas meters and, and water stop taps. The most people stop tap is under the sink in the kitchen. Um, don't need to know the exact location, don't worry too much about it, but let's just say from a fixed feature, so the end of this wall here, we're looking at roughly, say, 1500 to the middle of the cabinet. So um, if your water tap sits in the middle, just give us that information. And that's all really we need at this stage. We'll obviously refine the detail down and look at the relevant um, points when we come out and finally measure your, your kitchen uh, with our surveyor. Um, this is just to get the ball, ball rolling for you so we can uh, we can draw some plans and get some get some design ideas over to you. Um, obviously, if there's any questions, just give us a buzz at the office on 01584 871960 um, and email your plans 
and bits and pieces over. As I say, nothing special, it doesn't have to be a work of art, it's just to give us a guide in regards to what the shape of your room is and the dimensions of the features. And that's really all we need at this stage. Thank you very much.